Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, coming back at you with a noon video. That's right, it's time for our nooner. And we're going to go to Kmart to 1992 and look at some old footage from Kmart. I wish it was the 80s, but it's not as 92, but it's close enough to the 80s. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hadn't watched the video yet. I just saw it was on YouTube, pulled it up, made sure it was what it said it was. Other than that, I hadn't really dug into it. So hopefully we're going to get to see some cool things that takes us back to a simpler time i guess you could say so let's check out this footage now as we go through the test pattern here let me uh tell you we got a new shirt at junkmanmerch.com and today if you're watching this on what the 19th all shirts are 14 dollars and we got a kmart shirt now until sears finds out um i guess there's still a copyright on kmart there's still one or two kmarts aren't they but there we go kmart look at those old cars right there man they're so fancy cars there's that little merry-go-round thing where you get in that you put a quarter in you spin it around i remember going there i guess it was early 90s when my niece was little go there with my sister and there would be some people some kids and even parents standing around waiting for somebody else to come up put the quarter in get on the horse and then the other kids all their kids jump on to get a free ride it always bothered me I'm like hey pay your quarter to ride the merry-go-round also and then we all get it maybe an extra ride we all play our pay a fair share but there's kmart right there there goes a man walking through the parking lot looks like he might have just left western auto or something look he's came from kmart uh this looks like about every kmart usa doesn't it? by every kmart i saw in the 80s looked like this now the 90s they started doing the bk bring in the grocery store trying to compete more with walmart but this is classic kmart i know it's 1992 but it was definitely built in the 80s now hopefully this video is not gonna be just People walk into their car. This is going to be boring. There we go. That lady's checking a receipt. She thinks she might have got ripped off at the cash register. Uh, Kmart, she's double checking, make sure. Maybe something was on a blue light special and she wants to make sure it rang up the blue light special price 75% off. The blue light special price was good. It's always like 50, 75%. I remember one time it was 90%. I've done a lot of Kmart shopping as a kid. A lot of stuff. That's where my grandma would go. Sometimes theirs, but Kmart was her place. I would run to the toys. She would run to the Blue Light Special. Then we would meet up and get that big old bag of popcorn. Remember you could walk around Kmart with a big old bag of popcorn? Ooh, that was before they started putting Little Caesars in Kmart. I don't want to walk around with... And you also had to get the Icy. I always got the Coke Icy, but you could get Cherry. It was one of the two options there. Um, man, they don't get inside this Kmart or something. Oh, there we go. Man, that brings me back. That is some classic 80s look right there. I know again, 92. Man, that's amazing. Look at that. Uh, that lady in her, in her red smock. Don't you love that? Her red, her red smock. She's getting the bags ready. Looks like they just opened that lane. The guy's reading patiently the checkout right there. He's got a blue hat and a blue shirt. That is some style right there. And he's waiting patiently. And number four is the express lane. And he's waiting patiently also. And this lady's getting on a mic and speak over the intercom. Maybe she's going to say there's a blue light special on aisle seven. But uh, let's see. Somebody's got a big old drink right there. Got some bubble gum. Uh, some gum always by the checkout. You know, no self-checkouts. That's back when they had to hire people to check out. Uh oh, she just realized she was on camera. She was like, ooh, ooh. Okay, there, what's she doing? Oh, she's putting in the credit card. This is back when you had to punch in the credit card, I guess. At least you didn't have that big old thing, you know, bring out the carbon copy paper and everything. My dad always wanted to tear up the carbon copy. He would tear it up and every little thing and burn it. Oh, look at this lady here. Kind of an older lady working at Kmart. She probably was going to retire. She had her plan, all the retiring and everything. Then her son got in some legal trouble. You know, her son's divorced in his 40s now, moved back home, had some legal trouble. And she had to use her savings for retirement to take care of her son. And now she's working part-time at Kmart to help pay some bills. Now, this lady's paying with cash. Good. I always hate getting around somebody to pull a checkbook out. You're like, oh, great. Money in envelope. My grandma used to always do it. Keep her money in the envelope. What was, what was the deal with that? Just like a mail envelope. I don't know. My grandma would always go pay the bills, too. My parents didn't do that. I mean, I know it was before you really paid online. But she would drive. You know, she'd go to the um, cable, pay it, right over to the light bill, gas bill. Just drive all around paying bills. There's a lady by there showing her rear end. Uh oh, now that's what I call a blue light special. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There's another lady in a smock right there. A little younger lady right there. Oh, yeah, she's whew, 
that's a good looking Kmart lady right there. I know you think you think jump man, that's, that's just an okay average looking Kmart lady, but we're talking Kmart here, not Walmart. That is what you call top shelf Kmart. If you were a manager at Walmart, you hired her, you hired her because she was top shelf, not because of her Kmart skills. Trust me on that. You know, Kmart managers trying to get a little extra on the side. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. You both are casino. Um, but there she is in her red smock and looks like a shirt she might have bought at Kmart. I don't know. Maybe she got an employee discount buying that shirt. One thing good about Kmart, they hit a little way. They weren't afraid to let you know. This lady right here, she's uh, getting her stuff and going on out right there. That girl's got her yellow rain jacket. Maybe she's got some galoshes just in case. There's some cigarettes though there. Cigarettes were always really hiding over there. Uh oh. Oh, TV. What are they watching? Full House, I'll put my foot through that TV before I watch Full House. You're not going to move any TVs selling, showing Full House. Um, is that Kimberly Gibbler? Is that her name? And there's that big wooden cabinet TV. Remember those? Now they're all flat screens that hang on your TV and everything. But these were big cabinets. They even have fake drawers. Where it looked like you had drawers, but you could never pull them out. Sometimes you could. Some TVs could. Sometimes you couldn't. Uh, $449, which is surprising. I thought it would be a little bit more than that. I'm kind of surprised with that big. I don't know what size it is. Now, here is the guy. The one in the red smock is the Kmart employee. He's telling this guy here about buying the TV. Uh, he's not deciding. He's a little maybe 13 inch. He's like, I don't know if I really need it. And he's like, yeah, what you need to do is get it for the bedroom. So your wife is in the living room and watching the good TV, watching Oprah or something. You can go back and maybe catch the game or something. He's like, I can see the game on this. And he's like, yeah, you can see the game on that. And he's asking if it takes cable, if a cable can hook to it. He might be even asking if it has UHF, not VHS, UHF, which, you know, people... I know the Weird Al movie. I always remember TV. We'll put it over on UHF channel. You can get PBS. Not sure why, but he's thinking about it. He's not really sure. He's got his memories only jacket. So here's some advice. Go to Kmart. Don't wear your members only jacket because they're going to get you because they know you got money. If you got that members only jacket, they're going to say, okay, this guy's ready to spend some money. You're going to get the TV. You're going to get the extra stand for it. You can get the extra antenna for it. You can get all these extras for it that you didn't come in to get. But he's, he's got a tie on. I like that Kmart salesman. He's really ready to go. He's got his tie on and everything. Well, let's see if he buys the TV. I wonder how much they're asking for. He's thinking about getting that little one. There's some VCR. Oh, he just realized he was on TV. He didn't like that. There's some VCRs for almost $200. Good Lord. I was just saying, now you can buy them cheaper. Now you can even buy them. Was that it? Well, actually, I don't know how much how good this video is going to be. I thought it was going to be a little longer than that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was a little fun seeing that old footage. I always like looking at the old footage. Maybe you like that better than you like that rating the Laugh Olympics characters because you guys didn't even want to click on it. You didn't even want to waste your time on that one. Mm, sorry about that. I'll try to do better with the videos. Uh, I guess that's it right there, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Tell me about Kmart in the comment section. Did you shop there? Did you like it? Did you miss it? Let me know your memories of Kmart and till the next video we'll talk again soon hey jump man <laughs> channel popping though thank you sir for that unsolicited testimony